I'm going to talk about the, uh, the latitude uh, data that were present that are going to be presented at the uh, friendly session tomorrow. Uh, latitude is a study in high-risk de novo metastatic prostate cancer patients that are still sensitive to hormones, so they are uh, castration sensitive or hormone naive or hormone sensitive, as you would call them. Um, in this trial, patients were uh, uh, high-risk patients, which means they had either a uh, Gleason score of eight or higher, they had at least three uh, metastases to the bone, or they had visceral metastases to the liver, the lungs, or nodes. Patients were randomized to either ADT, which is androgen deprivation therapy, the uh, standard of care at that moment when the trial was designed for these patients, versus uh, ADT plus abiraterone acetate plus prednisone 5 milligrams. Uh, 1,199 patients were randomized to this study. The uh, primary endpoints were uh, overall survival and uh, radiographic progression-free survival. And secondary endpoints uh, that mean something to patients were uh, time to pain progression, time to PSA progression, time to next uh, prostate cancer uh, treatment, time to chemotherapy, or time to next skeletal event. And that's very important again to patients because that is time to when they have to undergo either surgery or radiotherapy to a bone metastases, or worst of all, have a spinal cord compression. The study uh, had a uh, design so that there would be one uh, uh, final analysis for RPFS and uh, two interim analyses for in, uh, overall survival and one final analysis. The uh, interim analysis one is what I'm reporting on now and at that time already and uh, the uh, results were uh, so compelling that we can call this already the uh, final analysis. Overall survival improved by uh, 38 percent so patients had a 38 percent less risk to die uh, and that uh, the median for patients on the control arm was uh, 14, well, it was 34 months, where the uh, median at a uh, median follow-up time of 30 months was not even reached for the uh, uh, abiraterone arm. Uh, to put that into, into perspective, patients had a 66% uh, overall survival at three years for the abiraterone arm versus 49% for the control arm, so a huge difference. But also on the RPFS, the difference was even larger. Patients had a median uh, RPFS of 14 months on the control arm versus 33 months, so more than a doubling for the abiraterone arm. Um, that is not coming, that good news is not coming alone. Also, the all, uh, all the uh, secondary endpoints that I mentioned were all highly statistically significantly the better for the uh, abiraterone arm which means that patients had a significant delay in time to PSA progression. And that's important because it is a, uh, I would say, a burden to patients to know that their PSA is, is rising. That happened in the control arm already at a medium of seven months, whereas for the, uh, for the uh, abiraterone arm, that's almost tripled or quadrupled. So very important to patients to have, a, I would say, a better... Um, coping with their disease, but also all the other endpoints like time to pain or time to a skeletal event was prolonged, as well as, and that's important not only to the patient but also to society, is the time to next uh, treatment or to chemotherapy was prolonged. Talking about safety, um, we know the drug quite well, Zytiga is well known uh, in its combination with uh, prednisone in the uh, metastatic uh, castration resistant prostate cancer space where patients have, we, we know the, uh, the safety uh, profile of the drug. Nothing has changed, we have not seen any new signals. Uh, there is a uh, higher incidence of uh, hypertension grade 3 in the, uh, in the abiraterone arm as compared to the control arm. But that is easily managed and essentially no patients or virtually no patients had to stop treatment for that, that uh, adverse event. Similarly, uh, hypokalemia was observed, grade three, uh, but again, very easily manageable by uh, oral supplementation of potassium or as I say to my patients sometimes, is just have a banana a day which will uh, keep your uh, potassium on, on level. Also, and that's also known for uh, Zytiga, there is an in a slight increase in grade 3, 4 uh, AST, ALT, which is the uh, liver enzymes. But again, uh, that, that is asymptomatic 
and by just stopping the drug for some time and then restarting at the same dose or a lower dose completely takes care of that. So there is essentially very little uh, toxicity to this drug. Uh, and in overall I could uh, paraphrase uh, Dr. Fazazi, the, the PI for the study, that we can consider beyond because of these data that uh, the addition of abiraterone acetate and prednisone to ADT in these patients constitutes a potential uh, standard of care from now onwards.